Maxie, Maxie, would you like to come up? Uh, Pete worked on a lot of different levels, and uh, from the more radical to the middle of the road to the whatever, but Pete was always there. So. Thank you, Nancy Oshima, with the LA County Federation of Labor. Uh, listening to what everybody has said today uh, makes me realize that I've missed out on a lot of Pete's life. I probably think all of us have because we know portions of, of uh, Pete's life and I want to thank his family for sharing him with us. The labor movement is uh, certainly much richer because of uh, the contribution that your family made in, in allowing Pete to follow his heart and, and do his work. Um, I first met uh, Pete, or became aware of Pete, I'll have to say, at delegate meetings. You couldn't attend a delegate meeting without knowing who Pete Goodman was. He sat on the aisle, whether it was the front or the back. He seconded every motion and uh, brought a few to the floor himself. He was never afraid of debate, argument. Uh, in fact, he seemed to thrive on that. And, uh, um, any issue that was out there, you know, he would promote it in the, in the name of union democracy. He certainly believed in solidarity among workers, but in that uh, delegate meeting, I don't know if solidarity was the important thing. <laughs> the important thing was having your opinion heard and having everyone heard so everyone could, could build the stronger movement together. I got to know him a little better. Uh, at one point, he uh, decided that he approved of Miguel, the head of the, the uh, Federation. And so he started coming into meetings at the Federation office and then stopping in all of our offices to get to know everybody. And I found out that we grew up in the same town, a few years apart. But uh, uh, he went on to tell me the history of my town and the remarkable way that he was raised and the education that he received. And, and uh, what his parents believed in and how he carried that through his whole life. That was a foundation for everything he did. Told me a few stories about high school too, you know, and uh, how, he, how he was uh, kind of behaving the same way we were when we were in high school there. But, uh, you know, he was always a contemporary, I, I felt. Uh, somebody I could feel comfortable talking with about current issues. He wasn't uh, a historian. He wasn't somebody who lived in the past, but he was someone who, who drew on his rich, very rich life and applied those experiences that he lived through to uh, current issues. Uh, as we heard earlier, things are coming around again. The same issues uh, come around in cycles, and, and he had the perspective that many of us didn't have, having lived through that once before. Um, I guess that's about it. Uh, we're going to miss him. <laughs>